This report has even special chapter compared anthropogenic impact and solar impact, all other factors, clearly proving that current climate change is unfortunately anthropogenic. Okay, and CO2 okay, well, concentration we'll, we'll leave is it the there. main point. Uh, we'll leave it there just for the moment because we'll turn to our guests now in London. Mr. Corbyn, evidence um, from our guest here in Moscow that climate change is indeed occurring. What's your response as, as an independent weather forecaster? Well, he's talking complete nonsense. Uh, the data, real data, over the last thousand, ten thousand or uh, million years shows there's no relationship between carbon dioxide and world temperatures or climate extremes. And now we can see that actually the people in charge of the data have been fiddling it. And the, they've been hiding the real decline in world temperatures in, a, in an attempt to keep their so-called moral high ground. All right, the whole moral uh, so, case is blown to smithereens and this whole theory should be destroyed and discarded and the Copenhagen conference should be closed. Well, so how do you explain the, the, the very evidence that here I am sitting in Moscow, there's no snow when there should be. We're talking about the Arctic Sea warming up, allowing more navigation for vessels. We're talking about and reporting about floods all over the world. How do you explain this latest? phenomena in the climate well in terms of the floods recently all over the world these were predicted by us at weatheraction.com long-range forecasters using solar activity if you take take a proper look at data over a long period of time you see for example there's been no increase in hurricanes hitting the USA corresponding to uh, anything to do with co2 in the last 100 years so their claims are false I repeat they are false and this theory they've got is like the Titanic and it will crash. And I would suggest that honest green campaigners who want to preserve biodiversity or whatever should get off this bandwagon before it sinks. Mr. Corcoran, and fight what do you... For real green issues uh, where, it, where it's needed. All right, thanks, Mr. Corbyn. Mr. Corcoran, what do you think? Uh, Thank you. All your views are a complete waste of time. Uh, you should jump off this bandwagon. This is a big blow to environmentalists, is it not? Yes, of course. And uh, speaking about uh, origin of climate change, uh, of course, many people repeat that thousands and millions of years ago, we had the same temperature thousands of years ago. But in history of uh, human society, they never had such CO2 concentration as uh, we have now. This is the main reason. And we have very clear studies of isotopic analysis and correlation analysis that we have co2 growth first temperature later on in the past it was vice versa but currently last 20 years they have certainly co2 first temperature second not vice versa this is the main argument which people just miss just miss because they just measure temperature they have to take care about CO2 concentration and clear correlation and isotopic analysis, what is a sort of miracle of current science. All right, Mr. Corbyn. It is very, very precise uh, analysis. You're making a very clear case, Mr. Corbyn. It, it is very clear what he has to say there. How do you respond to these uh, answers? Well, it's complete nonsense. If you look at data, if anything, uh, carbon dioxide levels are driven by temperatures, not the other way around. There have been big peaks in CO2 in the past, and there's been CO2 levels much higher than present, as shown in geological uh, evidence. Carbon dioxide is actually a good thing for the world. More CO2 means plants and agriculture is more efficient, and plants grow faster. We should be campaigning for more CO2, not less, and we should end this anti-scientific nonsense now. Well, what's your view about alternative energy, then? Um, do you think more well, energy and resources should be going into that? Sure. Well, uh, there are some alternative energy schemes which are good, but wind farms, for example, are stupid because for every wind farm you need to have a coal-fired power station to, to provide wind, uh, provide power when there's no wind. So who's so, profiting from know, all of this? Mr. Some Corbyn? alternatives are good. But, but who, who, who's, if the scientists are cooking the books then, just uh, tell us exactly why they are doing this and who is profiting from it then? Well, look, you have to ask them and who, who pays them. But there is a gigantic bandwagon running by, run by governments primarily who want to control world energy supplies and hold back development in the third world. Let's be clear. The West or the, the leading world wants to stay ahead and they're doing anything they can to stay ahead. And this thing they're doing now is just the same as the banking crisis. It's creating a whole bubble of false value. So you're saying that over, over 100 and people will pay. You're saying over 190 countries are meeting very shortly in Copenhagen to discuss this uh, to continue with the Kyoto Protocol and it's going to be a much wider measure because fewer countries were involved in the Kyoto Protocol. 
many more com countries are now involved in this next initiative. You're actually saying that it's a complete waste of time. Yes, they're a complete waste of time. All right, let's see. Uh, what money they waste there should be used to combat malaria, for example, or a whole lot of things. Well, wait a minute. Mala malaria could world. be as a result of g uh, increasing global temperatures, could it not? That is nonsense. Anyone in Russia knows that malaria has happened in Russia in the past. It's, it's not anything to do with, with warming. And in fact, now the world is cooling. You understand that? Or the world is cooling and has been cooling for seven years, and the leading scientists, so called scientists, have been trying to hide that evidence. Mr. Corcoran, the Copenhagen summit is a waste of time. What do you think? Mr. Corbyn says it's a complete waste of time. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Do you ask me about Copenhagen yes. or about uh, the climate Co effects? Let's, yes. let's talk about the Copenhagen summit. Many, many people are flying all over the world at great expense and they're going to be meeting over 190 representatives from all the countries in the world, uh, from those countries, are going yes. to be meeting in Copenhagen and Mr. Corbyn says it's a waste of time. Uh, no, it's not waste of time, not at all. Yes, it's very reasonable to very seriously discuss economic and financial tools to solve the problem. And they should not uh, discover the wheel or they should, they should not do some miracle because they have very clear, very visible effects. I cannot judge about England, but I can say my opponent that in Russia he is absolutely wrong. Malaria never happened in Russia before. Now it is. Encephalitis <laughs> was only in Siberia. Oh, come was on, that is Siberia. such a lie. That is such where, a lie. Where you and was you in Russia it. last you time? Know that is a I lie. live here. I've heard Russian science. Are you doctor or meteorologist? Say, say, I've heard Russian yes. scientists and the Russian Please read this say report. how when they were children they knew about malaria. Please read this Russia. report. Please read scientific articles. Oh, come if on, you are very independent or okay, trusted, you should on be a doctor. Lies okay. and cover up. I'm just going to interrupt here. Just Could I ask you, word, are you a medical doctor? Or meteorologist. Okay, Mr. Corbyn. Are you medical I'm doctor? Or physicist. Or meteorologist. Long long range range debate. I just want one Please final brief reaction so from you, Mr. Corbyn. Please do not be so naive. about what Russia. You? Can Which you hear me? Never visit. Well, I don't Who think I'm going to get you? much further with this. Come on. Who pays you? All right, we'll, we'll just, just end, please. One final statement from you both. Very brief. Finally from London, Mr. Okay. Corbyn. Just briefly. Yes, the yes, Copenhagen Jamboree is... Oh, OK, well, I think we'll leave it there because obviously it's very difficult for us well, to communicate between Moscow and London anyway without actually and seeing each other. And but it must be stopped. All right, thank you very much, Mr Corbyn. Fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank Mr you. Corcoran, a great discussion. Thanks for joining us live here on RT.